the goal of a debate is not the search for truth, it's the search for, for victory. In a conversation, the goal is understanding. The pro-life um, position definitely has the, uh, the advantage of simplicity um, that uh, personhood begins when life begins at conception, that, um, that every member of the human species, every human being is a person, um, that the intentional killing of an innocent person is a grave wrong, and that our laws should reflect that. But to demand that sacrifice from women strikes me as abhorrent, um, and, uh, and to uh, presume that the state would ever be in a position that would be better than a woman's position to decide whether and when she should become a mother strikes me as equally abhorrent and just unthinkable. When I read uh, Michelle's op-ed, her first op-ed entitled, The Women the Abortion War Leaves Out, I just felt that she was calling to me. Um, and uh, I sent her an email, not really expecting to hear back, but then about, I don't know, 20 minutes later, she, she wrote back. I'm very good at email. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be the thing they say on my tombstone in that first conversation, um, as, as Julia said. We started by staking our, our ground. Um, and uh, um, before I tell you about the ground we staked out, I want to tell you about how we asked the question. Because it wasn't just a, well, what do you think? Should it be legal or illegal? It was a, why, why do you think? it should be illegal or legal? Why, why do you care about this issue? And just the shift from what to why, I think, um, made it really clear that I was dealing with a human being and not an enemy. I will say that the only weapon in spiritual warfare that is invincible is humility. See what I mean? Like, right? Like, just to hear that, like, the, I don't get to hear that in my in my in my world of of my abortion radicals, right? And it changes the way I think about things. So thanks. These things actually happened. I mean, that at a particular point in time, the uncreated creator of the universe actually became a human zygote. Um, the most helpless of creatures. In Judaism, life doesn't begin until the baby takes its first breath. For me as a Jew, my obligation to love your neighbor as yourself, my obligation to repair the world is a, a notion of tikkun olam and that each of us has a unique thumbprint because there's only one of you and you have a job to do in, in putting your thumb to the world and in repairing it, that my job here is also religiously commanded of, of me. The women working in abortion clinics know that women choose abortion when they're too poor. The women working in crisis pregnant centers know women choose abortion when they're too poor. And so I came away thinking, wow, there's probably common ground there. Well, what would it look like for women to have real choices? Um, then that's when the common ground really started opening up quite a bit, actually. One of the reasons that this war is so acrimonious and so unending is that both sides see the analogy with slavery, which we both perceive as the original sin of our country. The problem is that both sides think that they're on the side of the slaves and really sincerely think that. Because if you're a person who says, I am really pro-life, and you're not out there making it possible for a poor woman to make another choice, that's a limited moral view. If you're a person who's really pro-choice and the only choice you support is helping her get a legal abortion, that's a really limited moral view. What Julia reminded me is that it's in times of crisis that, that God finds us, right? It's in that response to crisis that who we are actually is, is revealed. This being St. Francis Day, and um, this being the St. Clair Room, it seemed an appropriate uh, way to begin this evening would be with 
uh, the first part of the prayer that's attributed to St. Francis, and uh, we're going to line it, and if you uh, know it and want to join in, please feel free. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And, and where, where there, there is sadness, joy. joy.